take a look at what we can do on the visualization layer, how to speed up the reports and visuals. The number one issue we still see way too often is too many visuals per page. One reason why we see this kind of uh, reporting is a typical one-size-fits-all report design. We have a ton of visuals um, because excessive slicers, because we want to cater to too wide an audience. And then we find ourselves with all these problems, tons of visuals, uh, excessive slicers, and even if the slicer panels are hidden, you then are basically just leveraging that real estate of the report um, instead of showing the insights. So let me try to explain how you can incorporate some of the design layout um, into the backgrounds of pages, um, because each visual, even if it's uh, an image or a design uh, layer um, element, uh, has its own render times, and not all of them can run in parallel. So in the View tab, if we open the Selection tab, you'll see all the objects on this page. Each of these objects will necessarily have its own render time when we analyze it. You will see that most of the time, it's not even the time is spent on the DAX query or the visual display, but it's actually the visual is waiting for other visuals to load first in order to basically display itself. So each object that we add to our report pages will have this render time and it will slow down your report. But what is the solution then? We want to include the right level of details and the right level of objects per page um, on our reports. And of course, the landing page um, should load really fast, but for this, it needs to have a really limited amount of data in terms of this. Right? We don't want large hierarchies, many objects, maybe four visuals, and that will do. But then later on, when we do the exploration, we want to expand to like detailed pages, trends, and so on. And this will actually segment the report or data um, into manageable chunks for Power BI, and it will ensure a good user experience 